Okay, guys, here we go from the site today. This is the afternoon of yesterday. We looked at the ship, and we could see some exhaust coming out of the stack there. So we know the crew's got power. That's obviously off of a generator set auxiliary engine. So looks like they're doing okay. They do have something running on the ship there that's that's making life a lot uh a lot easier for the guys here. Big news, yeah, that was the week's 533, and it was on the move. And that was it going under that temporary channel on the south side of the site. That's huge. I'm almost sure that this is the largest piece of uh, water asset that has gone underneath the bridge. This tells me that they've got enough depth there now to not only move the 533 on the the barge that it's mounted on, but they'll also be able to move debris barges underneath there when that time comes necessary. And now they've they've got assets on the other side of the site, so they can attack this thing from two different areas or two two different sides of the problem. That's that's a big. That's a big move here, in my opinion, uh, to be able to have that kind of access now. Uh, this, you see how this thing's kind of playing out. Now, we sped this up, and uh, the images weren't as great today as I was hoping for. Again, this is in the afternoon. It was a very gray day. Uh, we were expecting to have weather move in in the area, and uh, without sun, the images sometimes suffer. So... I apologize for that, but this is what we got. And we kind of sped this up because this was over a process of time of moving moving different equipment around. And you're going to see, as this thing progresses, we're going to see the 533 move out. And then we're going to see uh, Don John's, it looks like the Columbia, New York crane uh, get repositioned. Uh, probably looks like maybe over the Sparrows Point. And then also we've got images here of the, the clam dredge that's been working on a lot of, how are we going to get the debris up? Well, this clam dredge that's been working out there looks like it's been doing its thing. And uh, we really haven't seen uh, a barge with an image of how much material is putting up. I know we've, we've Unified Command had some images of that piece of equipment working, but it looks like that, that machine is, is certainly doing its job in, in helping to clean up that, that area on the bottom. There it goes right there, uh, heading back over what appears to be over to Sparrows Point. And we have that Don John's Columbia moving around, possibly headed over to Sparrows Point as well. And the big surprise of the day for me again, the 533 head back up river. And then we're going to see, see it slide right up underneath those approach, the south approach spans of the site and go right up underneath there. Doesn't look like there's a lot of clearance, but there is, there's some, and there's probably more there than what it looks like from these images, just because we're uh, the distance we are from, from the site here. But this is huge, in my opinion, to see this piece of equipment get on the other side. It says a lot about uh, the Coast Guard uh, getting, getting these temporary channels in place so that they can be utilized. And when they first announced this, I know that they had some of that traffic up in the port that they wanted to move out, and we saw some, some images of that happening. But this, to me, is really the biggest part of this, this whole thing of getting these, these two sides opened up is to be able to move the equipment that's needed to open up this channel, again, on both sides of the site.
and we're not exactly sure where the 533 was positioned. We could see it, and I'm going to run the video as long as we could here before we lost the lost visual. But it looks like they went up river. They probably got up there, maneuvered it around where they had to be, and then brought it back. Keep in mind now, the dolly has those anchors off the stern, and they they're kind of out there like a little spider web. So the crews are going to have to be careful when they maneuver. Uh, back around that stern area, not to get into any of those uh, anchor lines that are coming off the, the stern of the dolly. But you can bet those guys that are on the tugboats moving moving that equipment around know exactly what they're doing. But it's another another obstacle out there for them that they've got to maneuver around. Guys, I'm sure some some big things are, are getting ready to happen here at the site. We're excited to be here. Glad you're here with us. If you haven't done it yet, please, I know these videos are getting watched a lot. If you guys are enjoying the watching what you see, there's a subscribe button down there. Go ahead and hit it for me. Hit the thumbs up. And make sure that the notification bell is, is clicked. When we get these videos out, you never know when we're going to drop them. Uh, it may, we may actually see something and be out at the site and say, we need to get this out. We may do that right then. Be sure that notification bell is, is, uh, you've pressed that. So you'll get the notification when they come up. If this is your thing, if you like watching what's going on out here, we'd love for you guys to come aboard, be a part of the Menorcan Navy and let's watch the, the port of Baltimore get reopened by these highly skilled crews that are out here working in some adverse conditions at times. So they, of course, they've had some weather going on um, past uh, past few hours. So, you know, you got to understand these guys are, these guys are putting out, there, there's a lot that goes into this and they're out doing it uh, even when conditions are, are not the best. They're trying their best to get this, this port opened up uh, and get, get the viability back in, into the into the area. Hey guys, thanks for watching again. Leave us some comments. And as always, we're going to leave by saying, hey, you guys be safe out there.